All right, guys, this is five free AI tools that you might not know about. Number one is palette. If you have an old black or white picture, you can upload it here and it will colorize it. So let's go ahead and give it a try real quick. We're going to click upload and we're going to just scroll down and I'm going to pick. I have an old picture of Abraham Lincoln here that I just got offline. You click upload to give you a couple different options that you can choose to colorize these photos. So you got the base palette, then you got lavender dusk. It's gonna take a couple seconds to load up and you could see how quick this works and I didn't even have to sign in. So you don't even have to sign in with Google or anything like that. It's free to use and it's free to download as well. The free download is 566 by 442 pixels and the HD download is going to be paid so you would have to pay for that option. However, what you can do is download the free option and then go ahead and use an upscaler an AI upscaler that's also free and that's a way to bypass downloading it in HD when having to pay money. So number two is going to be Ideagram, which is a generator that can also create legible text. This is one of my favorite tools and it's completely free. Up next is Perplexity, an all-in-one search engine that is powered by ChatGPT. However, it's up to date and it can browse the internet unlike ChatGPT. So we could just say, what? is the best Netflix show for 2023 and it's going to come back with a response and as you could see it is up to date and it's able to search the internet it also provides what's really cool is that it provides sources from where it's pulling this from and as you could see right here it'll also give you different articles that you could check out if you want to check out then it gives you your exact answer so if you're sick of Google, where they're giving you nothing but paid advertisements as the first search results, well, this one is going to be able to answer your questions without giving you advertisements and paid ads as the first results. All right. Next up, we have by Microsoft. So this is another text to image generator. However, this is a little different because this is geared towards more like um designs that like Instagram post, maybe birthday card, business card, posters. And if you just go ahead and type in here an invitation to become an astronaut. Once it gives you your results, what another cool thing about you can either click on it and download it or you can click on it and change the size. If you want it in landscape, portrait or square. And you can also click on it and edit it. Say you like something about, maybe you like one aspect about this one here. You can click on it and click customize design. And then you could change a couple of things. Maybe you didn't like the text or you didn't like this, this image right here. You could just go ahead and click on it and change it to whatever you want. So maybe you like a different font. Okay, you could switch it up like that. And then you could click on the image and you could change the image. Click on replace, go to the image gallery. And it's very, very simple to be able to create some different things with this here. See how simple it is. And then once you get it to how you like it, you just go ahead and click on download. So there's another free tool for you guys. And here is going to be the view is called clip interrogator. So what this does is sort of like a reverse text to image. This is you provide an image and it's going to give you back a prompt in which hopefully that prompt will generate something similar to the artwork that, or the picture that you've uploaded. So I just went ahead and grabbed this painting off of Google and I uploaded it, provided me with this prompt right here. So if I copy this prompt, and I'm just going to go back to Ideagram. So here's the image that I uploaded. It gave me the prompt. I'm going to go back to Ideagram. And when I put this prompt in, this is the results that I got. And as you can see, this one right here is actually pretty similar 
So I think it did a pretty good job at providing a prompt to the original, which is cool because if you find any artwork or any picture or painting that you really like and you want to replicate that, all you got to do is come over to Clip Interrogator, upload your picture, and you will be provided with a prompt. And you could take that prompt to any text to image generator and see if you can create something similar, hopefully. Uh, this one's kind of close, but you know, it's not going to be exact, but it'll still give you something pretty cool. All right, guys, check out my other on free AI tools. I'm going to keep you guys up to date because AI is moving fast and they're coming out with new tools like every single day. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so we can stay up to date and check out my other video about ideagram because this is a game changer right here, you guys. All right, make sure you subscribe.